After a couple of months of training with Marcus, we get an update on how I'm progressing in the gym, and then it's time to take a couple of friends out on the course with me to show them what I've been working on, and hopefully have some witnesses if I break 100 for the first time. November 6, 2018 was the first round. Today's the seventh. Every iron shot, I took a chunk out, took a grass. Too much time <laughs> oh, wow. Um, so where he's come from, he's a lot more mobile in the hips. He can move hips a lot better. He's starting to become, his main issue at the beginning was just being aware of where body parts were in space. Um, so now he's starting to become more aware of just movement in general. Like if I tell him to move his leg in a certain way, he'll be able to figure it out now. And like something you can tell with the stuff that we did today. Like he was like, it's not painful in my body, it's painful in my brain. coordination overall is starting to go up even when we're doing a lot of swinging things are starting to get a lot better you learn how to coordinate movement in general the golf swing is a huge coordination component and you can't just start getting people to swing clubs you got to get them coordinated in all facets of life so whether that's walking running jumping throwing and when you start picking apart the muscles that are active in walking and running they're very very similar to what, what's active in golf swings but next week we're starting to get into throwing like actually throwing things and creating ground force tensions to move through throwing mechanics because if you look at somebody throwing something and somebody swinging a golf club they're very similar um, so you start teaching them how to throw things and just basic movements that way and then you start to reintegrate it into a golf swing all the time basically just groundwork for now basic movement skills with a little bit of weight and then start to bring the weight in and make the movements more complicated and more complex so next time you're here they'll be quite interesting side of the fairway if if you do have a bit of a, a fade just watch the tree on the left here it's not really a factor <laughs> Targets out there this time. Fly things that we can hit. All right, what do we got? Uh, it's 150. Lots of water on the right and lots of shit on the left. So far we're doing pretty good. We just had a good experience on what not to do off of par three. 
<laughs> We're going to get some work on hitting out of the sand here, though, shortly. I don't know how to describe the sand because I don't know. I don't have anything to compare it to. Okay. Thick and wet. All right. Now we get a lesson here. Wet sand. It's a stupid game. <laughs> so I did my little plan there. So I hit two irons and then a, and then a, a wedge onto the green, and then I put way past four, and then I put way past again five, and then I put short six, and then all it's happened for seven. So I was putting for four and I ended up with a seven. The so four putts, and I've had the, I've had that a couple times. 9, 16, 22, 29, plus 20. Not as good as I thought on the on the back. 49. Hmm. Uh, no, I didn't bring it under. <laughs> Add that up again. 9, 57, 106. Nope. Uh, uh, then. If you if you three putted, take it off. Well, I mean, or even four putted, take it off. So if I think I'm all my three. So that'd be that'd be 99. If I yeah, if I yeah, sort of the putting app. If I could get a five on every hole, that's a, that's a ninety. So that was my approach today, and then I, I wrote up a list of all the holes and all the clubs I was going to use for every shot, and I had that list with me, and and I followed it uh, to a T, no pun intended, uh, as much well as much as I could, because uh, if my T shots didn't go as far as I thought they would, then I'd actually have to, you know, choose a different club for my second shot, that sort of thing. So uh, it was good today. Uh, it started off a bit weak off the tee, um, but what's important to note is that I, I, I made nine out of 14 fairways. My previous best was four fairways, so I hit five fairway, five more fairways off the tee than I, than I did before, which was more than a, basically 125% improvement uh, off the tee, which is not surprising because I was either using a six iron or a seven iron off the tee. Um, but just goes to show that the strategy uh, worked out well. My downfall today was putting by far. So I had a total of 43 putts today. Uh, before that, my worst was 39, and that's when I shot 121. Today I shot 106, by the way, uh, which tied my best round ever. Uh, but 43 putts, so, and that includes five three putts and a four putt. So if you get rid of, if those five three putts become two putts, that's uh, five strokes saved. And if the four putt becomes two two putt, that's another two put, two uh, shots saved. So six shots saved. So that would have been, yeah, would have, would have been a, a 99, right? There, I hit it. Come on! Golf, yoga, gym, golf, golf, gym. So uh, I was with uh, Ed, who I'd play with, played with before, really nice guy, and uh, his son Brad came for the first time, who's a one and a half handicap. So I was looking forward to playing with them, and then uh, went on the range to warm up, and uh, I couldn't hit any balls. Just I just like shanked and shanked and shanked, and then topped and topped and sculled and shanked. And... So basically, I couldn't play golf at all. So I went to the pro shop, and I met Mac, and I asked him to book, book a lesson on Wednesday because I didn't think I could figure it out on my own. 